YouTube fam and welcome back to our channel. I am Lainey if you are new here and just stumbled upon this video. I hope that you can find something that you love and stick around. Um, we do just a bunch of different lifestyle videos. We talk about small business behind the scenes. I am also pregnant and expecting our first baby. Um, we are high school sweethearts and Manny is sometimes featured like behind the scenes in vlogs. We just love sharing bits and pieces of our story, of our life. But yes, I am super excited because a ton of of DIY has been going around over here you guys so we are doing a baby shower prep currently and I'm kind of going for like a boho rainbow pompous grass rust terracotta rust neutral though um, kind of baby shower definitely not going overboard with it but like those are kind of the tones that I'm going for so I was just trying to think of different DIY ideas that I could use um, with stuff around the house we were also getting like big baby items like the crib and the crib mattress that had big boxes and I was like okay how can I repurpose these and so I'll show you guys all that I did um, as far as DIY projects go but I'm just so excited and I hope these can help you let me know in the comments if you tried them out if you've made them before if you're gonna try them out also just stay tuned for the actual baby shower um, behind the scenes vlog I'll try to take some footage of that just to show you guys these pieces in action but yes I'm definitely not like the go-to DIY girl this was just something that I was like okay well we'll share this fun project because I love all things boho and it's just fun to see the finished product okay so first project that we are going to do is we are going to attempt to do that boho rainbow trend um, that I've seen on like TikTok and different things where you use these pool noodles to make a boho rainbow and then you put um, double-sided tape and um, I got these, they said skewers, but I, I'm hoping these will work to put the pool noodles together and then you um, put whatever color um, yarn you want around the pool noodle and yes, you have a cute boho rainbow for decor for a nursery, so stay tuned. <laughs> about this one um, this one I think one of my friends actually sent me a TikTok where the girl like did this DIY project made the boho rainbow and she was like this completely reminds me of you I didn't think about really doing it at that point but maybe I just I don't know maybe I just rethought about it as I was doing baby shower prep and I was like let's do it I was actually staying with my parents while Manny was in Mexico for a few days he was in a wedding and with family um, and obviously I am Miss Preggy so I didn't get to go it was fun because I made the best of it I did all of the fun DIY and I got to have my parents be a part of this project so you guys ready for the reveal and da -da -da! look at this you guys we did the boho rainbow out of pool noodles and yarn um but shout out to my dad because he is like a mechanic and mr fix it so he knows all of the like different things to do but we he added this big heavy duty rod in this one to like shape the rainbow and then we formed everything around that and then we added skewers in and I'll show behind the scenes of all of this but I would say my tips would be to hot glue the back side so I hot glued um, as much as I could you can kind of see the skewer a little bit there but this is the back um, I've seen some others add like clouds to the end but I'm just not really into that style as much so I just wanted to keep it simple but yeah I just love how it turned out and it was just a really fun project like I said to have my parents be a part of it and so I'll probably use this kind of on a table or um, wherever it looks good as far as baby shower decor goes and then reuse it for possibly the nursery but then also if you guys don't know we have a <laughs> small business called my happiest mail and it's really like boho based and so we have products that are boho rainbow so I was kind of thinking depending if we ever 
kind of make a cuter office like I feel like this would be super cute in there and I was actually messaging one of our customers and she was like I kind of want to make one for my office and I was like that's a really good idea I didn't think of repurposing um, after the baby shower to use it for like an office space so maybe we will do that but I really, really hope this could um, just give you guys a fun idea if you are doing a similar theme. You and this guy over here work together. I have done it without help. Aww, that turned out so cool. I know, and now we'll always remember this project. With love, but I love it. It can stand, like Dad said, you know? Or yeah. it can hang if we get a little. Manny's gonna love it. And baby girl. If you guys um, don't know, I wanted to show you if you guys are planning a boho rainbow or just this style baby shower as well. We sell these thank you cards. Um, it's so cute. It says happy mail days are ahead. And um, yes, they are available on Amazon, Etsy, on our website. But that is kind of just a fun story. We started selling on Amazon right at the end of 2020. And so all of last year, 2021, we started out with, where are they? I only have one of the happy mail stickers with me right now but we started out with this product and so they just go so cute together and um, God just bless us with the most incredible customer community I'm sure some of you guys are here watching this so you know who you are um, but if you are new to seeing these products and you need them um, definitely go check them out because like I said they are perfect for fellow small business owners um, in their packaging but also for baby showers like me I cannot wait to use these and send them to family um, after the baby shower also I know boho rainbow birthday parties are a big thing um, they're just so cute for like everyday thank you cards though you guys um, we really put a lot of heart into just creating these designs I designed them specifically for this niche in this just um, aesthetic because I really feel like there wasn't anything out there like them and so yeah the box is also super practical and efficient to store them away but yeah so I just wanted to show you guys these because that's another just fun um, baby shower behind the scenes that I cannot wait to use Here is the finished product of the reused cardboard boxes that I did. Um, obviously, these are not perfect, but do you see the vision just like with this ceramic vase, um, adding some more pompous grass, and just with these boho colors, I'm just loving it, and I'm kind of picturing it um, not so much so like as a photo backdrop, but like maybe on a folded table. Um, where we have like dessert or just decorations or gifts and just kind of have it be the backdrop and then I also have this um, rattan ottoman that I have loved um, that I might use as like table decor too so yeah you can kind of see the vision but I just used some like that one's a darker terracotta this one's more orangey and then this one's more like like a pale neutral and obviously, like I said, they're not perfect, but I just wanted to reuse these boxes and make something pretty out of it. So let me know what you guys think. All right, so I wanted to show you guys, I just went into an antique shop with my mom and sister. Um, I love doing that, it's so, so fun. And I feel like there was actually a lot of rattan, which anytime I see it, I'm just like, 
Um, if it's in my budget though, because sometimes I feel like even just baskets can be overpriced. It just depends where you go. And locally we have this awesome like two-story place and then there's like a whole building in the back too and they have a ton of stuff. But some of it, depending on the vendor, can just be feel overpriced. But I got this cute rattan side table. I'm really excited to see where we end up placing that. I'm kind of thinking maybe next to like the rocker sort of thing in the nursery or our bedroom depending where we put the rocker and all of that but yes I am so in love my sister I I also liked this lamp that had rattan on it but she kind of helped me talk through my decisions um and so I ended up just getting that one because there was just one part of the lamp that I didn't really love um but I love finding unique rattan pieces when I can and I feel like that would have been like 80 something dollars at least at like Target for a side table so that was cool but what i wanted to show you guys was these were these were wooden bases and they were eight dollars and so i really love the color of this one and i might keep it like this but then i also might paint it so i'm not sure if i would do like a cream neutral or if I would do more of like a rust but I'm really excited to use these at the, the baby shower um, and put pompous grass in them um, and then hopefully reuse them at our redo wedding and in the nursery and just different things um, to repurpose so I'm excited about that one and then here's the other one and like I said they were eight dollars so definitely in my budget because sometimes you're gonna have some of these priced at like over $30 and it's like you're not really saving at that point. Sorry, it's really loud. There's literally a cat on my car. <laughs> I'm at my parents' house. Oh my goodness. Okay, so here's the other one. This one I feel like I definitely want to paint just because it's pretty but it's not really my my color um style so yeah this they're just really great quality and eight dollars like you can't beat that um per perfect for pompous grass and just multi-purpose use so i wanted to just let you guys in on my fun thrift haul that i'm planning to use for the baby shower and then repurpose for the nursery all right so here is the before of the painting of the vases um i got these two colors from hobby lobby as well as these brushes as you can see they are lightly textured acrylic paint so i'm hoping that We'll see what they look like after one coat, but I might add another coat adding baking powder if they aren't textured enough. So let's do this. final of the painted vases so in love with the finished colors i love how that light textured paint laid all right well i hope you guys enjoyed this behind the scenes diy baby shower prep video we will see you at the baby shower and in the next videos to come so you see you soon <laughs> stay tuned <laughs> thanks for watching